Hello everyone. Today we are going to develop a simulation model using basic operations, uh, particularly in the process panel in Arena. So here is a subject system called the electronic assembly and test system. So we have uh, two parts, uh, part A and part B in the system. And here two different parts actually having the having the have the different interlevel times and one of them especially the part a follows the exponential distribution uh, with the mean of five minutes and then uh, part b follow the exponential distribution with the mean of 30 minutes but it has batch arrivals of four okay so or entity actually part uh, enter the system simultaneously okay at the same time whenever there is a arrival event okay all right and then both actually part goes to the uh, both part go to the sealer process basically sealer process shown here and then each part has each part has a different process time okay uh, sealer time here so part a following the tri tri triangular distribution and then part B follow the wavelet distribution here. All right, and then after that, uh, some part. Uh, okay, some part. Most part actually, most part will be shipped. Okay, and then disposed, uh, shipped, and then deliver will be delivered uh, to the customer, consumer, uh, or the other uh, consumers. Yeah, consumers. And then, however, nine nine percent out of hundred percent. Okay, out of uh, all process, uh, all process part will be nine percent will be sent to the will be sent to the this reorg process mm -hmm. because it does not pass uh, those part uh, do not pass uh, do not pass the pass the testing so that's why a uh, reorg process also follow is following the this exponential distribution with the mean of forty five minutes. And then 20 out of the 100 uh, will be scrapped, and then other 80% of the uh, the reworked parts will be salvaged and then and shipped. All right. So here uh, in this module, you need now we need to consider the decision process basically uh, after the reorg process. Also, uh, at the same time, also we need to consider the decision process after the this uh, sealer process okay and also plus and then we need to obviously we need to use a different uh these four different process modules as well in the in arena mm -hmm. all right let's look at the characteristics of the part a yes interarrival time of part a following is following the exponential distribution with the mean of five minutes all right, so you need to consider the arrival process of the part A. And then from the arrival point, it goes to where? Immediately goes to part A preparation process. So it was here, this one, all right, okay. And then, and then this uh, part A prep preparation process also following the triangular distribution with these three parameters, all right? And then after that, it will go to where? Uh, sealer process, right? As I mentioned earlier. And then 91% of the um, part A will pass the exam, pass the test, other, right? And then, but other, other parts will go to rework process because it failed to pass the testing, uh, test. So failed to, uh, yes, uh, it couldn't, I mean, those parts. Couldn't, couldn't pass the test, that's why. And then the, this work process also has an exponential distribution as a, each process time, all right? And part B, what about part B? The difference of the part B is that it has a batch arrival, right? So for, for part B, will enter the system, okay, at the same time with, and the interrupt time of the, uh, of uh, inter time between batches, uh, will of four will follow the exponential distribution with the mean of thirty minutes, okay? And then, uh, whenever it arrives at the system, it immediately, okay, it will be broken into four individual parts. 
you can you can image the bus or library, okay? Usually bus has a bus has a multiple customers, right? Passengers, right? At the same time, but whenever bus arrives at the bus stop, and they usually the there are, uh, I mean, the each individual each individual will just uh, leave the, their location and the lo bus stop, right? Immediately. So similarly, we have a batch of library of the part B here, and then it will. Uh, individual part B, part of B, uh, part B will uh, go through the part B prep area, similar to the part A. Part A, the the what? Part A went to the part A preparation area, right? So we also have we also have another preparation area for the part B here, and then each each processing time will follow the triangular distribution with the three parameters, and it goes to immediate after that it will go to the sealer process and then nine nine percent nine percent of the uh this and the part b after the this process will goes to the reorg process and the reorg process has a has a processing time shown here okay each process time shown here okay and run condition uh, and then output of the simulation model. We are going to run the simulation model for 32 hours, and then we will collect the statistics for each work area on resource utilization, number in queue, time in queue, okay? And then for each exit point, uh, we will collect the total time in system. So we need to have what? We need to have three different exit points, okay? All right, let's develop the model. Please open the arena and then arena here. And if you click the discrete processing and then you can see the create module here. Okay, since we are going to, we are going to create the two different parts, right? Part A and part B. We need to put two different create modules here, right? Create one and create two. Let's click the create one here. Okay, and if you double click this, this, and then you can change the name of the uh, module. So part A alive. Okay, and then entity type will be what? Part A. Right, and then the and then this interval time between the library will follow what? Will follow five minutes. Right, uh, will follow exponential distribution with the mean of five minutes. Right. And then you can keep the default value here and click OK. Right? And let's click the another create module. And if you double click this one, create two, and then you can also change each name, part B alive. And entity type will we are going to create the part B here, right? So part B, and then it's following what? Is following the exponential distribution with the mean of 30 minutes, right? And batch arrival, so four, right? So this is entities per arrival, so four. And four part Bs, okay, will alive, will be alive here. All right, click OK. So after this, we can put the assign module here because we need to collect the statistics right so here one assign module and then two assign module here if you cannot make the connection di between these let's say you do not have a connection between this module and then you can use connect button to uh, make a connection between two modules all right so let me double click the assign one here and to change the name of each name so part assign part a sealer and a live time okay and click add button to add attribute to the uh, this entity so part okay attribute is a property of each entity right so here attribute type is attribute and the name is a similar time similar time okay and similar time following what triangular distribution here one comma three comma four four right and here and then add one more attribute so attribute leg attribute 
and here is what uh, name will be a live time okay and let's type the t now so whenever entity passed uh, this module or same module it will record the current simulation time by using this t now internal variable okay so here click ok and what about next so let's click the this assign to and then double click it and here uh, we can change a part uh, each name so part b zero and a live a live time right yes and click add button and select the attribute so we are doing the exactly same thing here and then cellular time and variable distribution right variable distribution for part b so 2.5 comma 5.3 right and okay and click also click add button so another attribute here attribute and we have a live time and it will call what t now as well so click ok and now we have this second assign module right click ok here are we good all right and then let's develop the process module a preparation area for both uh, entities and go to the uh, let's select the, this process module and then also click the this one and then place the drag and drop the process module here and module there okay if you don't have this connection yeah please draw the connection okay between these modules and here yeah maybe you you have a different name here right but it doesn't matter just double click it and then change its name as what prep a process and here select the C delay release and then click add the button a resource resource is a prep a okay and click ok and it will follow the triangular distribution with the mean of what so the three parameter one I'm sorry one four eight click ok And next one, double click this one and then type the prep B process and click C delay release. Here, click add button and so that you can select the resource here, prep B. Okay, so entity, the part B will see the one unit of this resource prep b okay whenever it pass the this module and it will follow the triangular right minutes and then three five ten so after that what else we can put another process right still a process Mm -hmm. and let's double click this one okay and naming should be sealer process and also you will see what see the delay release and then you can double click this one but if you do if you double click it you can see that this power window or you can click add button to see that this power window and here we will see uh, one unit of sealer okay and then here click ok yes and then we are going to use expression the user defined uh, actually the expression here uh, select the minute and since we already assigned the cellular time we can choose uh, uh, we can type the cellular time here cellular time and there are several ways to build the model but we are going to use we want to use one process module instead of two process modules and in order to do that we assign the uh, cellular time 
process, uh, process time, actual cellular time here, to, and then also here as well. And since this attribute has a cellular time for the part B, and also another attribute, I mean, same name, but yeah, the cellular time also has a part uh, process time, cellular time actually, uh, for uh, for the, this cellular process, since both part has a different distributions, right? As their uh, cellular time, so you can just call the uh, in their attribute. So we can just call the attribute, okay, associated with a certain already stored in the each entity or each part, okay, and cellular time, please. So what does it mean? So whenever part A arrive at this process module, it will call the it will uh, call each attribute called the cellular time, and then cellular time, as you know, you follow what. You follow the triangular distribution with the mean of one, uh, triangle dis distribution with three parameters, one, three, four, right? And then whenever part B enter the this, well, let me make a connection, okay? Part B enter the this process module, and then it will, it will uh, use a wave distribution, right? As it's a cellular time attribute, right? And what's next? So uh, we know that some of part will have a, will go to the rework process, right? In order to do that, we need to put the decide module. Where are you? Oh, sorry, it's under the decision. A decide module here. So we can put decide module, right? And then if you double click it, Double click it, and then you can see this power window uh, basically help us to put the what? To put the uh, inspection pro probability here. So we are going to change uh, each name, failed cellular inspection. Okay, and what? So 9%, basically 9% of the 9, not 90, 9% uh, will go to the York process. Okay, and we will use 2A by chance so that we can have a true and false situation so two way okay and then nine percent will go to true and 91 percent will go to false line or follow the first false line okay so here and what's the next so nine percent of the part will go to the rework process so we can just put the rework process over here right and double click this one and change the name as a new work process. And here see the layer release and click add button. What? The work resource, one unit of work rework re 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 resource and minute. Uh, yes. Uh, several options and then you can use uh, uh, Exponential distribution and we choose the expression and then minute right value added and here if you drag and drop menu click the this button and then you can see the exponential right so we can put 45 which is a uh, rework time right 45 exponential distribution distribution with the mean of 45 minutes click OK alrighty so after this rework process we need to put another decide module. So under the this decision uh, panel, okay, and then here, and uh, since we don't have the link, we can make a connection right between these two, and let's double click the this decide tool, right, to change the each property, and the property should be failed, yeah, failed, the work inspection. And percentage will be 20%. You remember that, right? Okay, this one. And what's the next? And we can, after this, now we have, now we can put the three different uh, disposable module, right? It's actually the each part will leave the system. And before we do that, we need to collect the statistics, right? So here,
어, input output. 어. 어. You can put the record module here. And then two more. One, two, three. And then let me delete the disconnection. Okay, right. All right, so record module. The role of record module is to collect the statistics, especially the tally statistic, which is associated with the, the uh, entities, each entity, right? Performance, entity's performance. So first one. Let me change the name of the first one. So ship record record ship part. We need to collect the timing system, right? So and then and type should be uh, interlive time. And attribute name, a lab type, right? And what? And then tally name. You can we can specify the you, you, we can specify the name. So we can define the name here. So let me put this name here. Record to ship the part. Right? Click OK. So now I have this statistic here. All right. And next. Record scrap part. Okay, click add button and time interval and alive time. So roll of the this time interval is to subtract the arrival time from the current time. Okay, so you can cal calculate the total timing system here. And here, oh, we need to change the name as well let me define this one score record scrap part okay right and last one let me double click this one I record salvaged part click add time interval Attribute name is a lifetime, and then record salvage part. Click OK, and we can put this pose model uh, right here after the each one, two. Three, right, we can put three different diff dispose modules, right? And shape should be. Oh, sorry, the order is different. So, <laughs> right, and then the 20%, right? 20% will be scrubbed, and then other 80 will be salvaged and exit, right? And then also last one will be shipped, right? Salvage and shipped and shipped, right? And then make a connection. So these will be here, okay? And then this will be here, and 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 this will be here. Will be here. All right. <laughs> So once you complete the, this uh, modeling and then we need to change the setting of the run, right? So go to the run setup and then here is a replication parameter. We are going to just make a single application here, but replication, replication length is what? 32 hours, right? We want to run the simulation for 32 hours. Okay, and then you can keep the other values here. And click OK. Right, and also if you go to the def data define and then click entity, and then you can see the two different entity types. Right, it, they are automatically generated when you put the create module, when, uh, especially when you change the name here of the entity. Right, so part A, part B, and let's use different picture here. So 
you will use uh, I'm sorry oh. <laughs> go to the I'm sorry yeah, click click this entity data module and here you can uh, you can you have a picture right initial picture so change the name here so I will choose a picture blue ball for the part A and then picture red ball do we have red ball? yes uh, so picture blue ball and red ball uh, for each for part A and part B all right and we can uh, run the simulation model right so now we can save the model if you want it if you go to file or if you go to the this save button and then you can save the file here uh, and model one uh, basic operation one yes let me just put this one Okay, so when you run it, you can have this one and then click it and you can see that these pictures, right? And let me just slow down here. You can uh, change the speed of the simulation model here, all right? So here, Okay, uh, so initially the part is generated, right? Just generated, and the blue part go through the process. And then here, batch alive, one, two, three, four, right? Four part alive at the system simultaneously, and then should be in the queue, right? Uh, and then after the preparation process, it will go through the other processes. So if I just speed up, you can see that this uh, uh, animation basically and then as you can see simulation will stop at this 32 hours and but i have uh, the database issue so that's why <laughs> i have an error here but anyway uh, here as you can see you can run the simulation model so now i can run the simulation model again without any error so just be careful that the, whenever you run the simulation model and then the all folder name all path should be written in english right I, so that's why i just changed my folder name uh, as a uh, english name yes instead of the korean name so uh, in other word uh, in other word yes your path should be like this so should be uh, written in english okay so if you don't like it you can move the your you can save the your model in download folder and usually the under the window and then usually the it has a, a english name right as a path so you can uh, solve the issue all right so after that you can see the excel file okay the you can see the simulation output through the excel file uh yeah personally i hate it <laughs> yeah all the version used to use uh, crystal ball but now you can see the uh, actually statistics sorry statistics from the this excel file and as you can see we have a statistic for part a part b right and then total time right and then here is total time as well and uh, we have uh, also waiting time as well and prep a prep b rework process and so on single process so if you click the each process and then definitely you can see the the, the statistic okay and here also you can see the project information and also you can uh event i can see the event here and you can play with the, the actually different worksheet here. Uh, right, so it's a, you can see the utilization of the prep A, utilization of prep B, and then the work, right? As well as the utilization of the seller and so on. So that you can utilize this information to change the capacity basically of each resource okay that's a good thing
Uh, we don't have any frequency status in this simulation model. We also we don't have any counter statistics here. All right. And also we can see the usual space file statistics here, right? And through the record the elevated part and then this shift part, a scrapped part and the shift part, right? You can see the three different these uh, values as well. Uh, right. So this is uh, pretty much about the simulation model. And also you can if you uh, change you can, if you change the columns and then you can see the different information, right? Just such as uh, overall mean value, overall max value, and every observation per application, right? And also uh, replication average, replication minimum replication average, and so on, okay? For each category.